six children born addicted to opioids, and tonight a lawsuit is being filed on their behalf. We appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm Carrie Sharp. Rory is off. This is just the latest lawsuit in a slew of them surrounding the opioid crisis in Tennessee. And as News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us, they're asking for money for the harm drug manufacturers and others caused by expanding the illegal opioid market. The Nashville kids bringing the lawsuit against opioid manufacturers are given the names Baby Doe, among others. And their attorney says this lawsuit is different from other big opioid lawsuits you've seen. A lot of those are dealing with the opioid market generally. Ours is really dealing with the black market opioids, the illegal opioids. Tennessee has one of the highest rates of children born addicted to opioids, like the six children in the lawsuit, who have, in effect, filed this lawsuit through a court-appointed attorney who looks out for their interests. Tennessee's Drug Dealer Liability Act really gives us the ability to do that. Two years ago, the Tennessee Supreme Court specifically ruled that a state law allows babies to sue for injuries caused by their mother's use of illegal opioids. Babies who begin life already addicted to opioids and need to be weaned with morphine before leaving the hospital, where attorneys say even more problems can begin. You have schooling issues, attention and um, attention deficit issues. You can have all sorts of physical issues that go along with that. In addition to drug manufacturers, chain store pharmacies like CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens and Walmart are also named in the lawsuit, which hasn't yet named an amount it's seeking. What price do you put on a child being born addicted to a drug? Um, you know, knowing what their lives could look like, you know, what is the price you put on that? Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.